I'd like to present an overview of impact of climate change on food security and nutrition with a focus on adaptation. First, I want to start from a global picture of projections of climate variables. This one is about a global uh, mean surface temperature. You might have seen this graph. I want to draw your attention that uh, there are two lines in the, in the graph. Uh, one is a low emission greenhouse gas emission scenario in purple and uh, high emission scenario red. Uh, depending on the climate change mitigation effort, reduction of greenhouse gases in the next few decades, we will uh, have a totally different uh, climate of the Earth towards the end of the century. Uh, whether or not we can contain the uh, size of warming uh, depends a lot on our mitigation effort. Even if we have, if we know exactly the emission scenario, there are uncertainties in the projections which is indicated in uh, purple bands and red bands for each uh, respective line because of the uncertainty in climate science understanding. Moving on to the next uh, figure, this is uh, a precipitation projection uh, in the future. Uh, again, uh, left hand side is low emission scenario, uh, right hand side is uh, high emission scenario. You see a lot of uh, spatial heterogeneity. There are areas where uh, that experience increase in precipitation, but neighboring areas may uh, experience decrease in precipitation. And this uh, 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 translates into uh, uh, the impacts of climate change on agricultural productivity. So we need to understand what going, what's going to happen to the climate at local level in order to estimate the impacts, impacts of climate change on agriculture at local level. Uh, this is uh, 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 projections of extreme events. Uh, the top figure is about uh, uh, wet uh, uh, consecutive five-day events. So this is uh, sort of an indication of uh, flooding possibilities and so forth. Next figure is uh, uh, projected changes in maximum five-day precipitation. So this is a heavy rainfall events projections. Uh, most of the places you see uh, blue colors, which means increased uh, possibility of heavy rains. This is an indication of uh, drought events. Uh, there is a differentiated impact depending on the, the part of the uh, world. <clears throat> and, and these extreme events may have more, a larger implication for agricultural production, uh, much more than mean changes, average changes in climate, like uh, precipitation on annual scale or temperature uh, uh, on seasonal and annual scale. Moving on to uh, impact of these climate changes uh, on crop agriculture, uh, there are many factors involved. Uh, increasing temperature usually means short, shorter growing period of crops, uh, and more evapotranspiration is expected due to warm temperature. Therefore, the water demand of crops will increase and uh, irrigation water demand will also increase. Other uh, risks we need to consider are wildfires or pests and diseases, etc. Um, agriculture is not only about crops. Uh, uh, here I summarize some key factors uh, of key impacts on livestock, uh, animal health, Quantity and quality of feeds uh, is a factor. Heat stress impacts the uh, health of the animals, water availability, and again, as in crops, uh, disease and disease vectors 
is a major factor. Fisheries and aquaculture, uh, they are impacted by climate change in through different channels, like increased water temperatures in the ponds or coastal areas, sea level rise, uh, changes in acidity of ocean water may affect the populations of uh, fish species in the in the sea and in the ponds for aquaculture. Uh, and as with uh, uh, livestock and crop agriculture, increases in frequency and intensities of uh, storms and other extreme weather events may have impact also on fisheries and aquaculture. Forestry, <coughs> uh, temperature is a key factor as well as uh, uh, duration and intensity of heat waves and uh, storms and the uh, intensity of storms may affect uh, uh, forest productivity. Um, and uh, here I also mentioned that uh, the importance of frost and snow and ice cover that may have in uh, the forest productivity in cold regions. Um, given these uh, uh, impacts and the possible uh, channels through which the, the agriculture sectors are impacted, we can think about the impacts on food security and uh, nutrition. Um, there are four pillars of uh, food security, as Kaisa mentioned, so I don't have to repeat that. Uh, nutrition can be affected through changes in food intake and diseases, as the uh, other presenter mentioned. I want to stress that subsistence uh, farmers, especially in the, in the tropics and subtropics, uh, will be uh, most threatened uh, in Africa and the parts of Asia. I skip this slide. I, I just wanted to mention that uh, in order to uh, better adapt to climate change, we need to understand the impact of climate change at different scales of your interest, whether it's national or regional or local scales. I have a few examples of uh, uh, assessed impacts of climate change on agriculture and food security. I don't have time to go through them all, but this is an example on global level impacts on crop production. You can look at the slides later on. You can download them from the window below. Uh, this is a regional assessment, rice yield change in the future in Asia. Uh, this one is water availability from the rivers uh, for irrigation purposes, uh, country scale assessment down in the Philippines. Uh, this was uh, um, uh, carry, this assessment was carried out by uh, FAO uh, 2 called Mosaic Modeling System for Agricultural Impacts of Climate Change, which is designed for national scale assessment at subnational disaggregation. And lastly, this is an example of field scale assessment in Thailand. And uh, this particular example looked at the effectiveness of different adaptation options, like changing sowing dates or fertilizer applications, the, uh, the amount of uh, uh, fertilizers, and the timing of fertilizer applications, and how those uh, impact uh, the, uh, positively or negatively in terms of uh, uh, rice yields. Uh, we saw uh, climate projections in terms of temperature, precipitation, extreme events earlier in the presentation, and I discussed the range of uncertainties or range of future climate. Uh, the, the, the assessments of, of impact and vulnerability need to take into account of this uncertain future. Impacts can vary by scale, uh, temporal scale or spatial scale. 
there is no one's assessment that can answer all the questions of stakeholders alone. We need to design the assessments of impact and vulnerability to meet the information needs of the stakeholders by consulting them and uh, finding the methodology uh, exactly to address the, the challenge of climate change adaptation in your project area or programs or policies. Thank you, I stop here.